definitely have to be confident when you're standing behind the blocks and if you don't believe that you can get the best out of yourself then you're not really setting yourself up to do a good performance. So I know I always have done my best races when I'm really relaxed um, in my head but I'm also like really nervous and excited and my body's ready to go and I know I have to be in a certain mind state because racing is basically 95% mental so um, you really just need to make sure you get your head in check. Generally when I've done my best races, or even when I've done bad ones, you have a pretty good feeling of whether you've done a good one or a bad one. It's just sort of that excitement and adrenaline, but you're also so fatigued from the end of the race and just hurting and you want to see what time you've done, not always what place you've come, but just, you know, see what happened at the end of the, at the race. Anything like Beijing, it's just going to be insane. And it's, uh, we're so fortunate that the swimming is in the first week of the Olympics and we have the second week off to you know, do media commitments and, and also go out and just let your hair down because it's been the longest and most stressful and intense preparation. It's nice to unwind. Relaxing, it's the only day we get off training so I really enjoy just being able to sleep in and go out for breakfast and really just, I try and do nothing. I'm always so tired but relaxing is the best thing to do.